Dear diary, the infernal furnace seems to be misbehaving. I've been trying to smelt some rutile ore from for a little while now and it's not accepting it. It looks like I may have to find other means. Right, let's see. Oh, magnesium's going into here. Good, fantastic. Melting down, getting in, uh, into these vats here. Uh, the rutile, rutile, I think it is. I've been mispronouncing it so often. Um, oh, I'm just about out. Never mind, I've actually got a lot of titanium here. Hmm, let me think. Ah, my friend, good of you to join us. Or join me, I should say. Now, the uh, as I mentioned in my diary, the Infernal Furnace is not accepting, well, I've got a feeling it won't be accepting the uh, rutile um, ores from the crops here, so I've gone ahead and made an, an automated system with the Maricultural Crucibles. The only thing that's left to do is to just push this wall out a fraction because I need some more space to cast the titanium. Uh, let me see, because the idea, my idea anyway, is to pipe up from these vats all of the titanium that's in the vats and straight into ingot casters and straight into a chest. Now, that's going to be the interesting part, getting all, all this together. Oh, that would... There we go. Is that enough space? Hmm, doesn't look like it. One, two, three. Oh, we've got to be careful with the old Terra Shatterer. It'll make more of a mess than you really would like. Especially when you're carving out a nice little room for yourself. Alright, now all I just need a bank of ingot casters and... Hmm... I, this, I think some hoppers will probably do it, or I'm not sure if I can do this with pipes. I'd like to think I, <coughs> think I can do this with pipes. I'm going to try it. Uh, seven transport pipes, good. Yes, let's, let's, let's try this with pipes. Now I just need to get some ingot casters. Um, I don't have any uh, burnt bricks. I think it's burnt bricks I need for the ingot casters. I'm fairly sure. Ingot caster. Yes, uh, yep, burnt bricks, excellent. All I need now is some bricks. How many bricks do I have in my system? Uh, a few. Um, I don't know if it's going to be enough, however. I think I'll just uh, take a stack of bricks, although I'm pretty sure the uh, Corporea Network still is recording uh, a little bit too much, perhaps. So take a stack of a brick. Ah, uh, 33. 34 should be more than enough. At least I think so anyway. So let's put this in this little uh, vat I've got down here. And I think, actually, I might have some more burnt brick around the place, but oh, it's better to have some cooking away just in, in case. Now let's just check this chest over here. Uh, that's a block cast. I don't want that. I do have some burnt bricks. Not a lot. I'm just gotta wait for those ones to be uh, cooked up. While I'm waiting, or while we're waiting, my friend, we can set this up. Um, now this is a liquid we're transporting, so we'll just uh, grab the. Uh, yep, we'll just take the emerald one here. I could have uh, even used a a wooden one, but uh, I think emerald actually does pull more liquids more quickly. Right, so that's that, and now I'll take some golden pipes, uh, maybe not quite all of my pipe sealant, and we'll run those across the top. And you notice these pipes, I've got plugs along the top here, this is to prevent the pipes from joining. Very very handy things plugs are. So let's put this pipe across here that can join. I think we'll just run this pipe over here 
and oh I don't know just uh, the, that sort of spacing should be good and then we'll have the ingot casts underneath uh, I think I'm going to need uh, ingot casters the space underneath them is the extraction uh, pipes so I'm going to need uh, a pipe laid underneath I think uh, ooh, I don't think oh, I'm just trying to think now do we go do I go a gold transport pipe or not I, I shall try one and that can end up in a chest or a barrel perhaps right here I think uh, let me see transport pipes put my mirror there right underneath that one so there's going to be one ingot caster two ingot casters three and four four should be enough should be more than more than adequate for the amount of uh, titanium that I really do require for my my rotors although they're doing okay by the looks of things my power is dropping however I think it's got something to do with the fact that uh, my train has been going non-stop and uh, I think it can actually stop for a little while once it returns now I've got that Let, let's check on those bricks let's check those bricks shall we uh, 20 that's enough for four I think how many do we need I don't know let's just check that's four uh, oh four it is ha superb right so that will take the liquid titanium at least I hope so uh, do I have a quick chest a chest or a barrel let's just check the network uh, let's see if we've got a spare barrel you never know we may have no it does not look like it uh, a chest perhaps no no chests done eight uh, wood planks oh yeah I do have eight wood planks a chest will do for now I don't know how quick this thing will actually uh, do its do its little duty I should get a um, a golem to start harvesting these things and so I don't have to keep doing them for the time being but let me see I'm going to need more um, pulsar gates by the looks of it so one two three and four well I suppose I could probably just put one gate here and say one gate here for the time being I just need another two so let's set this up um, Space in inventory, inventory full, inventory empty, space for fluid, tank full, tank empty, fluid in tank. Yes. And it should it's piping hopefully the right stuff. Oh no. It's piping the wrong things. Oh dear. Oh, I better stop that. I better stop that really quickly. Uh Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. I'm I have a problem here. It's taken all of my magnesium from this container. I didn't want it to. I only wanted it to take the titanium. Is it possible to do that? Maybe. Maybe if I take a bucket. I go over here. Did that give me a bucket of titanium? 
Molten titanium. Hmm. I may have to do a little bit of research, but... Uh... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's say... Uh, it's not space, inventory full, no, no, no. Items in inventory? Yes. And I want it to extract. And is it extracting? Oh! Oh, I see my problem. <laughs> I need proper pipes. I need iron pipes for this. I wonder if I've got some in my one of my chests over here. I should have. Uh, pipe, pipe, pipe. Quartz? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, I'll grab some iron. I'll make some room in my inventory for a starter. Grab a block of iron. Uh, a piece of glass. Ah, glass. Excellent. Exactly what I require. Right, we'll just break this block apart. Get myself some iron pipes. And do this properly. So now I just have to lay these pipes here. It won't have the speed that I was after, but at least we'll have the right direction. Alright. Now they're there, I have to configure them properly. Hmm. Do I have a wrench? I should have a wrench somewhere. Ah, here we are. Wrench away. Yeah, just, uh, let me see. Uh, that's open, yes. That's open, that's open, and that should be open. Make sure I get the right opening. Yeah, that one's open, so that one's closed, that one's closed, that one's closed. That's right. Yes. It looks right. I hope it's right. We'll test it with this one. Uh, let me see, inventory empty, inventory full. Space in, uh, no, I want items in inventory, yes. Pulse away. It's taken everything out of there, excellent, good, good, good. Titanium, titanium, titanium. Hmm. So, uh, space, inventory, full inventory, empty, items in inventory. That can do its thing too. Space in inventory, mm-hmm, inventory full. No, I want items. That can extract too. That's extracting. Aha! So all the titanium is coming out. That is there. Uh, I've got a blockage of all this magnesium, which I don't want right there. Oh, this is quite problematic. How am I going to fix this? Without wasting all that titanium, that uh, magnesium. Oh, it looks like oh, it's still tiny titanium there. If I give this magnesium a place to go, maybe. Will it go there? It's still trying to go go in there. Or oh dear oh dear oh dear there now it's got a place to go you can all go back in there it's not quite the uh, whoops maybe I'll just do that 
Now it's all got a place to go. It's all emptied out now. Huh. So, how to get this thing to filter just the titanium? Hmm. This is a problem. At least it's emptying itself out now. Can I... Uh, I just want to be able to put the, uh, the filter in. I don't think I can actually do a bucket of titanium. Could I? Bucket. I think I can. Field osmium. Huh. If I could fill a bucket with molten titanium... I could probably put it into the filter. But how to do such a thing? Is the next question. Well, my friend, I have figured it out. It's a solution, not the best solution in the world, but it works. And that is the main thing. What uh, these pipes are doing is they're taking a little bit of uh, fluid out of the tank. Uh, the uh, emerald pipe has some basic filtering but it seems to be pulling both the molten the impure molten titanium and the pure molten titanium it is leaving the magnesium behind which is all good so i am filtering it off, off of course with a uh, diamond fluid pipe this seems to do a better job so it's a second stage of filtering, although this one seems to be filtering both. Yeah, this is, I've left one here to set up, so I can show you how it's done. Right, we have our bolt bottom of molten titanium, right? Okay, so now in the green, we want to have the impure or well, no, the molten magnesium and the impure to be going that way and the uh, blue direction I want the molten titanium so that will work so we've got a, a round robin going back into the vat for the stuff that we don't want to come out of the vat and the stuff bleeding off what we do want uh, the next thing to do is just to get a, a gate now this is the the important part, I, I suppose. The uh, controls of the gate, they are not the usual ones. I was using, let me see, uh, tank full, not correct. To get the little bit of pulses that I was after, I want, if I can find it, uh, let me see, pipe is empty. This is what I want. So. When the pipe is full, it'll turn off. When the pipe is empty, it'll turn off. It'll just, it'll just give that little bit of a, a, a bit of a burst. Right. So as you can see, it's pipe, pipe, piping a little bit of the titanium around. It's extracted all of the molten titanium and giving it right through into the caster. And look at all that lovely titanium. Look at it all. Totally automatic. I don't have to do anything for it except keep feeding the uh, crucible furnace on this end, uh, retire law, and uh, on this end, keep feeding uh, the essence of earth and essence of water into the auto workbench making limestone. And that is getting turned into the... Uh, quick lime going into the water and I'm extracting out the magnesium yeah yes excellent it's not the best solution in the world but it works it definitely does work the only way thing to do now is to make it faster well I've made it faster just a little bit faster with a few um, kinetic upgrades. Uh, 
this furnace is p- pumping so much, well, cooking so much uh, quick lime, the pump can't keep up with it. The vat can only just keep ahead of the liquids that I'm com- taking out of the crucible. The crucible that's ta- taking care of the magnesium is uh, just keeping up. Well, just a little bit quicker than the other one with the uh, f- just the one hyperkinetic upgrade. And I haven't done anything down here for speed, but it's still uh, ticking along quite nicely. I may have been going a little overkill with the four vats, but uh, nonetheless, it's working. It's really working. I'm making stacks of titanium without with little for me to do except feed the machine. Ha! Huh. Maybe this was one of the things that brought the downfall of the world. Ah, uh, it matters not. The machine with all its pipes, its liquids, it's definitely something to behold.